There's only one way we can save the planet, and that is by going vegan. That, that, that is essential, and it's urgent we get that message out. That's the most important. I'm sure you're going to hear many excellent speakers today, many great messages, but this is the bottom line. If we want a really decent world for future generations, we've got to go vegan. So what I want to do is indicate why this is so essential, what the issues are, and why veganism is so important, a message that I hope you'll spread to many, many people. Okay, now, this is not just my opinion, this is a consensus out there. When you think of the politics today, you know, there's a lot of disagreements. Democrats believe one thing, Republicans another. That's why this is really amazing. In December in Paris, 195 nations from all over the world met and 195 nations all agree that we that climate change is a threat and we've got to take action very, very soon. But the one thing they didn't pay much of any attention to is that unless there's a major shift to vegan diets, there's no way we're going to avert a climate catastrophe. Okay, and it's not just that 195 nations, think of this, it's amazing, 97% of the climate experts agree, and 99.9% .9 of the thousands of peer-reviewed articles, the respected science journals all agree, yeah. and all the major science academies, so you can see we have a lot of strong evidence that climate change is a threat, and we've got to get that message out that uh, other things have to be done, but people have to switch to veganism. Now, just to give a little background, uh, this is why, by the way, we have to separate the weather, which today is a little bit cold, with the climate, which is long-term trends. And every decade since the 70s has been warmer. 70s, 80s, 90s, 1000s, to the 2010s, it's been getting warmer and warmer. So we're at a high plateau. This is an amazing thing. The 17 warmest years since 1880 when they started taking temperature records, all 17 of the warmest years have been since 19, uh, 1880 when I started taking records. Now, this year is the warmest year in recorded history, but you know which year is the warmest? 2015. Just broke the record, and that was previously set by 2014, the year before. And an amazing thing is the last 10 months have all been record breakers. In other words, for example, this February was the warmest February since 1880. And of course, this is having effects and all. Big article in the Times a couple of days ago with the possible melting of the Antarctic, other meltings, the world could, the oceans could be six feet higher. Imagine the effects on Miami, New York, other cities. So this is urgent. We want a decent world for future generations. And in addition, the glaciers are melting, and that's very bad for agriculture. We need that water from glaciers for irrigation. And uh, very briefly, there's been an increase in drought, in wildfires, in uh, floods, and in storms, other effects of climate change. It's been so bad in California that the governor of California, Jerry Brown, has said that humanity is on a collision course with nature. Okay, so a lot has to be done. One other example, all that's happened is due to a one degree Celsius, 1.8 degree Fahrenheit increase, and the experts hope to keep it two degrees Celsius because there's still a chance for it to happen. And unfortunately, we're heading toward four, five, and six degrees Celsius. So it's it's disaster. Again, if you want a decent world for future generations, we've got to get this message out. Save the planet, go vegan. Okay, and just to give you an example of what's involved and why people are overlooking this, 2006, and it wasn't the Sierra Club, it wasn't Peter, it was the UN Food and Agriculture Organization. They did a study and they found an amazing thing that animal-based agriculture emits more greenhouse gases and CO2 equivalents than all the cars, planes, trains, all the meat transportation worldwide combined. 
and a front page article in World Watch magazine by two environmentalists associated with the World Bank indicated that the so-called livestock sector is responsible for at least 51% of all of the human-induced uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So here it is. There's a Jewish teaching that says that the world is evenly balanced between good and evil, and one, one good act can shift the world toward the sign, side of good, toward the positive side. So every one of us has to take the responsibility, write letters, articles, call radio programs, speak to your friends, your neighbors, and tell them this is the most critical issue facing humanity. Go to your ministers, priests, imams, rabbis, tell them we've got to get this onto the agenda. So this is a great beginning. Pam deserves great uh, credit for getting us here. Let's take the next step and uh, tell people, as we've been chanting, if you love animals, first step is become vegan. And let's all say it one more time. Save the planet. Go vegan. Thanks, and have a wonderful day here. Thanks for coming out.